must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves, and take their nether stones. My former peers will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. Excuse me, I can't find my mum. She was... um... she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Guards blow like petards. They don't help us. Wow. Thanks. My mum would like this. She's the best cook in the world. And she taught me too. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. Big, cozy. We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Do you know where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? <sighs> Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all my attention. Nearly there now. You can see the city. Up on the hill. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. A little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. passage this way, I'm afraid. Turn back. It's for your own good. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these 
Put us out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. I don't see why I should be explaining myself. It's my property. They are on it, unlawfully. Look, we needed somewhere to live. This place was empty, and it had walls. I've got children for tears' sake. Well, I, that's all very sad, but, but, but I still don't see how... It gets cold out there at night, Mr. Gregorio. My kids will get sick. Please, we'll stay out of your way. We just need a roof. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. Look, time is money, and I'm losing both just standing here. Make your call. Judge before Zenobia makes it for you. them stay here? What if the little prank gets into the basement? My basement? Oh, nothing interesting, just materials. I'm a craftsman, you see. This man is definitely lying. And he's really hoping you don't pry any further. Look, I have some very valuable components in there. I need to get that lot out before they damage something. What do you mean by that? Shh, sweetheart. Adults are talking. This is guild business, and we'll handle it as soon as we get paid. Enough of this bickering! You! What's your proposal? Should I negotiate with the vermin who've stolen my house? I got nothing to say to them. when they turn on you like the mongrels they are. I respect your hustle, sweetheart, but it won't work on me. You've stepped on the guild's toes, and we'd like a little something to make it better. The guild, a loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contract killers. 
Just a little something. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Smart decision, sweetheart. Well, boys, we did what we were paid for. Let's leave this lot to their misery. Young cave bear, killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. The trap. Time to dance. Give it a shot. Might be worth checking Arthur's donations. Looks like his generosity's compromised.
There's a trap. I'm not sure why you stood up for us like that, but I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. And may Torm keep you. You're the first person in this city to have our backs. Thank you. Really. I don't like being cooked up inside, but it's what's best for Cynthia. I'll make sure she knows you had a hand in it. Good thing you sorted that out. I was this close to chucking a knife right between that trollop's eyes. To threaten the children. Cinta was trembling.
friend tries to get you to invest, kindly turn her down. She doesn't need the encouragement. If I hire the refugees, then I get cheap labor and they get coin. It's a good deal for everyone. Think about it. They're stuck here with no coin oh, yes. and nothing to do. Aramidius and Fred are clean. They're going to hire. Yeah, just joined, but are settling in marvelously. Like yes, of course. Cleaning, cooking, construction. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> what do you get out of this? Hmm? Well, it's the right thing to do, isn't it? If I was a shower and lookout, this what is in the hell was place that? I'd wait around. Felt like a quake fit to topple Ramazet's tower. So don't make trouble. Baldarians! Stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Oh, another visitor, I see. Listen, we keep letting the likes of you in. Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. Another bleeding heart. Piss off and take it elsewhere. You and I have nothing more to say to one another. You see them over there? Refugees? Ha! Naught but a cover. I know what they really are. Died in the wool agents of the absolute. Mark my words. There's probably only a handful of rotten apples among them. Or, you know what they say about rot? It spreads quickly, ruins the whole bunch. Between you and me, I don't think there are enough flaming fists here for these refugees. Us Baldurians can't feel safe with so many of them roaming about without proper supervision. <sighs> Let's hope Archduke Gortash can make a difference. I'm not paid. Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Pay me any mind now. I'm just trying to make sure everyone gets fed. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has our lady forsaken you? I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are, and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Though, if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after all. You and I have nothing.
You did me a real favor clearing all those ghouls out of Moonrise. That old bonebag Ketherick had some fancy junk stashed behind all the cobwebs and piles of gore. Didn't you? Figured we only got the scraps you didn't have the strength to carry. Wish I could tell you. We're stuck out here, but most of the action is beyond Worms Crossing. Would I try to fool a Sharpie like you? Have a look. Stay away from trap chests! Don't be shy! Up now. me again. I don't really need to be saved right now. Good thing, huh? Bye. Donations? Do you know her voice? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. I'm gonna let you through because I don't want to take any risks. But you better not be lying. I didn't know 
You best not piss away Manip Nestor's good graces. The here Worms Rock prison is rather cold this time of year. I have a feeling I'm not very welcome here. Let's keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. You were right. Explosives. Now give me some room. I need to make sure the rest of these donations are safe. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. Seems we were patrolling around a powder keg. Glad I didn't get burned up. Explosives in, in toys? How despicable. Hope Lord Gortash gets this stuff sorted out. Come over and exchange pleasantries. Oh, how kind of you to say. I have been growing my bristles out. It's something of an art, you see. Glad Nesta sorted out those trap toys. Nasty business, that. <laughs> 